hi everyone welcome back to my channel miss silver here and i know it's been a while but i'm finally back and i can't wait to show you guys step by step how to fulfill this green glitter a cut crease at home but before that i want to invite you to subscribe to my channel give this video a like and well let's say no more and get started with today's look so to begin this look, I'm going to be using the holographic palette from my line Miss Silver Cosmetics and I will leave a link in the description box if you're interested in this palette. Now I am going to begin by applying the blue eyeshadow right along my crease and as you guys can see, I didn't want to go in too bold just yet. This is the first layer of eyeshadow so I wanted to go in very very smoothly. However, I am going to be going back and forth a few times until I build some intensity. And now that I've built enough intensity, I'm going to go ahead and take a light blue eyeshadow and I'm going to go ahead and blend around my crease to give this a smooth light transition. So we're going from dark to light and we have to blend enough so it doesn't look as bold. a clean blending brush i'm gonna dip just slightly into my darker uh, blue eyeshadow and this is just to build a little bit more intensity and once i finish with that i'm gonna go ahead and dab just one time over my black eyeshadow and blend that very smoothly right along my crease now that i have the intensity build i'm gonna go ahead and take a flat brush with a light liquid concealer and i'm gonna go ahead and begin to draw that crease right over my lid Now that I've done drawing my crease with the liquid concealer, I'm going to go ahead and start blending from the outer corners into the inner corners. So taking a light blue eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and start dabbing right over the outer corner of my eye. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and take my dark blue eyeshadow and begin to blend the outer corner of my eyes right over the light blue eyeshadow but pay attention close attention to how i'm blending i am not trying to hide the baby blue eyeshadow i'm trying to build a little bit of a transition from dark to soft blue so i'm done with that i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a black eyeshadow then i'm gonna move over to the inner corner of my eyes soften up any creases and begin to apply that amazing green pigment that i'm using and i'm gonna leave you guys a picture so you guys can see what product i'm using once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and take a smaller brush and begin to clean around the crease. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and take some glitter primer, eyeshadow primer from my line Miss Silver Cosmetics and start applying that glitter. The good thing about my primer is that it's clear, so you're able to glue any glitter, any eyeshadow. So if you guys want to check it out, I'm going to leave the link down below. So I'm going to take some tape and apply that at an angle, the outer corner of my eye, and I'm going to get ready to start my eyeliner. Since I'm not going to do a sharp winked eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and take my taper brush and just smooth out the outer corners of my eyes with a black eyeshadow. Now that I've done with my eyeshadow, you guys did see that I did curl my lashes. Now I'm applying mascara and I'm going to go ahead and apply my falsies. Now that we're done with our eyes, I'm going to go ahead and move over to the face. Do a little bit of contour highlight concealer and I'll be right back to show you guys the final look.
Now that my face is baking with translucent powder, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom part of my eyes. I will be doing black eyeliner on the waterline and then I'm going to go ahead and smooth that out with the blue eyeshadow. Now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and dust off all of the translucent powder off my face. I'm going to finish my look by applying uh, some powder contour, a little bit of mascara, did my lips already, and here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy and you're able to recreate the step-by-step -step tutorial at home. And if you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram so I could repost you on my stories. If you want to know what I use for this video, check out the description box. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, turn on the bell icon so you can get notifications every time I upload a video. See you guys next time.